Hello, I'm Matt Guff from House.com, and this is a 2019 Arbor Cask Snowboard, an all-mountain deck designed for intermediate to advanced level riders that tend to ride the boards just one direction. Uh, this is kind of like an in-resort deck for groomers and for riding pow when you get to it. It kind of does a little bit of both. It's great on uh, firm stuff. It's great floating through pow and of course riding through a bunch of chop. That's kind of why uh, Arbor did the cask. It kind of does just basically everything. As you see, it has a really unique shape. It only comes in one size, 150 centimeters. It has a waist width of 27.2 centimeters, which is great for anyone with size 11 feet and larger. Uh, you know, even those bigger feet, like 13, 14, can get on the cast and still have fun. And even though it has only one size, it still has a fairly wide weight range of like 128 pounds to like 208 pounds. But anyone outside of that 208 pound range like myself um, can still get on this thing and have a fun time. But again, this is a volume shift style storyboard, 150 centimeters, quite a bit wider. Um, and then you'll see like the nose is a lot longer and the tail of course is shorter. This gives the ability to kick this tail around when you get into tight spots, when you're in tight trees. Uh, but then there's grip tech on the tail too that allows it to rip when you're on groomers. But one thing you should know about this is uh, it has a parabolic camber profile shape. So it has a nice little arc, and within the effective edge of that parabolic camber, there's a centered stance. I'm not saying that it's gonna ride like a twin because it has a centered stance within the effective edge because it has a tapered tail, um, but it's, it feels a little bit more natural to ride than what you may think it may look like. You know, this looks like a very, very directional board, and it, you know, it is. You know, but within that effective edge, that stance is centered. It doesn't really feel like a very, you know, it doesn't feel odd. It doesn't feel foreign when you get on the cask, which is kind of one of the nicest appeals to it. You know, outside of that effective edge, obviously, the nose is super long. It has that hammerhead style nose shape. Um, has a gradual style sweep, so it floats in deeper stuff. It doesn't just like push through it. Um, and then, of course, it's gonna be that flex rating. Now. It has a stiffer than average flex rating. Now, Arbor says that it's about an eight. I'd probably put it at maybe like a six plus, maybe maybe a seven, um, but definitely, definitely not an eight. It's, it's firm, but there's not really a lot of, there's not a l additional laminates to the board, um, but it does have a, a three year warranty, which is great, of course. Arbor's been kind of doing that for a while. Um, inside is a, a single malt wood core, which is all poplar, and then there's mixed glass. So there's bi-ax glass on bottom, that gives a board smooth feel, and then tri-ax glass on tops, which gives a nice little, poppy feel, a little bit more lively. And you know, combining that with um, with that camber profile shape, it's, it, is a, it is a lively board. Um, but the, yeah, no additional laminates besides that ash power ply top sheet that you hear, that you see here. So I think that's the thing that kind of like gives it more of like a stiff, rigid appeal, especially torsionally. Um, but it's not like, you know, overly aggressive and uh, like overly stiff. It's not like you can't like flex it out. And then there's the side cut radius. Now this is a six meter side cut radius, which is very small for a board. Um, if when you want to turn this thing fast, you can turn this thing fast, and that's what makes it so great in, in those tight spots. It doesn't when you put it on an edge, it doesn't just go straight. You know, it goes in the in the shape of that side cut. But then there's that uh, grip tech edges, which I'm still kind of wrap my head around with the cast because usually. Um, Arbor boards that have the grip tech edges have three different side cut radiuses. Usually there's a larger one or a smaller one in between the feet or uh, um, bigger ones on the nose and tail. And there's unblended transition zones. But it's basically three side cut radiuses kind of like coming together with unblended transition zones that make that grip tech uh, kind of like protrusion. protrusion? Uh, <laughs> um, but this one actually just has a six meter side cut radius. So I have a feeling. Uh, that the cask has a sm uh, the six meter on the tail, another six meter uh, on like the front section, and then that unblended zone is kind of where that grip tech is directly underneath that back foot. You know that that little section that sticks out helps you to get a little bit more surface area in the snow and helps you to grip it just a little bit better. Uh, the base is centered, of course. Um, that's actually a, a really nice thing. It's actually fairly flat. It doesn't really have much structure to it, but it's been factory waxed by Wend Wax Works. Uh, this is a great deck. Um, it is. It, the cast. It comes in one size. Volume shift story. Kind of. It doesn't feel like as much of a directional board as it would. You may think that it feels. Um, it actually is pretty lively with that camber profile shape. And then it's kind of less catchy because of the upright fenders on the nose and tail contact points too. But uh, this is a red deck.
from Arbor. You can check it out at thehouse.com. Thanks for everyone uh, that has been asking about this thing. I know there's a lot of people are like, dude, where's the cask board? Well, here it is. So thanks so much for making the suggestion. Uh, hopefully I'll see you guys on snow. Subscribe there, check out more vids there, and hopefully, yeah. Let's go and rip. Peace.